Hello everybody, welcome to our greenhouse. This greenhouse was our project this past May, if you were around for it. There is a video on our channel that documents the entire build process. Once we finished building the greenhouse, we didn't really do too much else with it because all of the plants that were growing in the greenhouse ended up in our vegetable garden out here so it's just kind of sat empty all summer but as we're approaching winter we're gonna want to winterize our greenhouse so getting it ready for the cold winters here in Ontario there are some gaps in the cedar frame along the bottom as you can see here that we need to close in I want to do some nice shelving in here maybe a couple raised beds and storage space for our garden supplies. It is a thousand degrees in here right now so I'm gonna give you guys a little walkthrough of the greenhouse in case this is a new concept for you. Here is what the interior looks like. It's got tons of room to do shelving and storage and make it a really fun space. We just haven't used it very much yet this year because everything's been out in the garden. But with winter coming, we're going to want somewhere to, you know, do a little bit of winter gardening and somewhere to keep our plants like the pineapple nice and warm. So that's what we're going to be tackling today. Here's the greenhouse from the outside as well, just in case you're new. So we've done a little bit of work out here, a little bit of landscaping. Um, we had some extra stones. We just made a little entry. We do have to swap out our planters. These looked really good early in the season, but these planter boxes, the water just soaks right through them. So anyways, everything dried out. We have to change it to something cute for fall. This was gonna be a cold frame. We never actually finished with this part of the project. And then I had extra eggplant, so I just planted them in there and let it be. And then don't look at that, a dead morning glory here it is around back all of these windows open for airflow we have our watering system here so this is just a rain barrel that collects all the rainwater from the gutters and then the front locks these doors open also to allow for airflow so you can have the bottom open or sorry top open with the bottom shut or vice versa i suppose Inside, this um, garbage can was full of soil at one point, but I since used it up for all of our gardening. We have our wood planer in here, we gotta get out. And then, like I said, the pineapple is here. This, I had some herbs growing in it early in the season. They've all died. And then we've just picked out a couple plants from the garden center just recently that we're gonna be planting in the garden. So we'll make a separate video about that when we get to it. But I think it would also be fun to do some sort of shelving near the top to store all of our empty planters because I don't need them everywhere. And they just take up space on the floor or maybe I can tuck them in underneath. I don't know, we'll have to see. Do you agree? Did you hear me? Oh. <laughs> Oh, how much is this though? 54. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, yeah, let's do that one. Right? Yeah, get the one for the biggest gaps. Like the one between my two front teeth. <laughs> There's nothing that can cure that. <laughs> we're back home again. We've got the rigid board that we're going to be using as insulation around the bottom of the greenhouse. It's going to fill all of the gaps in between the cedar planks as the wood dried. It caused gaps, and that's what we call gaping exactly as it should oh that's perfect yeah, that's totally fine nice job nice i'll just either talk or scrape on whatever little gap there are and go from there So we have a few small gaps that we want to fill just to keep as much air uh, coming from coming through in the winter as we can. So I'm just using this gap filler by Sika and going along wherever there's a gap that's too big for just silicone, I'm filling with the spray foam insulation. I went around and all the joints I actually taped as well just to keep as much air from coming through as we can. Nasty. Good morning. Welcome back hey. for day two of working on the greenhouse. Handy Andy got a haircut. New day, new me. 
smells a little rotten in here today. It's the rotting apples. If you didn't see already on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube shorts, you know, all, all the, the jazz, all the socials, my rotting apples. See, there's like, oh, ooh, an ant. There's decomposing apples in here, trying to make my pineapple flower. Still no flower on the pineapple, but I will keep you guys updated. Anyways, we're back for another day of working on the greenhouse. We're, today we're gonna be adding shelving and, well, I guess hopefully finishing this. Yeah, we should. We use these picnic tables as shelving and we have a bunch of skids that we can use for kind of the tops. I'm gonna tape over the nails. Is that what you're getting ready to do? Yeah, there's no point. It's a waste of time, but oh, it, just, it looks what? nice. Oh, okay. You're so not it even. Doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't add any like. So why are you doing it? Because look, you can see the different colors. So if you go like this. <laughs> so extra. It helps with a tiny little bit of air penetration. I'm sure it does. <laughs> I just, I don't like seeing the nails. Yeah, anyways, that's what's on the agenda for today. And um, we'll keep you guys posted. So this is half of a picnic table. The other half of it is over there. <laughs> and this was actually um, given to us from our old neighbor. So I guess maybe they built it. I don't know for sure. Yeah. It's been handy to have, but we're gonna take it apart and use it in the greenhouse as shelving since it's already basically a shelf. What? You broke your hammer? Can't you just cut it? You can't reuse the wood. <laughs> anyway, while Andrew works on that, I'll give you guys a little updated garden tour. We're getting to the end of the season, so everything's just kind of looking tired, but we still got a little bit of action going on in here. Some strawberries still growing. <laughs> what is that I see? Cutting it? Who would have thought? Sorry, I've got some lettuce growing on in here. Carrots have already been started in this entire area. The basil is looking tired. And then I just filled this all with peas and spinach. More spinach. Still got some beans, but not too many left. This side is doing a little better than the other side, but we're getting to the end of the season. So we're just taking what we have left and freezing the rest. This had potatoes in it. I forget what I planted. And then this has is just full of potatoes. I replanted all those for the winter. Tomatoes looking crazy. Ooh, what is this beautiful tomato in there? Pretty. Back over around this way, the sunflowers are all starting to die off. This is a variety that I planted for the first time this year and aren't they adorable? They're the fluffy head ones. I forget what they're actually called, but all the rest are just dying and seeding. The birds have been loving them though, so we just kind of let them go to seed. And that's pretty well what's going on in here these days. Oh, one more thing. Check out this beauty. Andrew grew it from seed this year and he's very proud of it. It's starting to die off as well, but still looks beautiful. This garden looking lush. Other side has been built. It is a little bit Frankenstein together, but Frankenstein. it's a little piece together. Look, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Yeah, we're right. all for reusing our materials and that's what we're known to do. So yeah. save some money and it's gonna do what it needs to do. So this was the bottom seat of uh, the other side of the picnic table. This is the top of the other picnic table and it works. Okay. Now we're gonna do some raised beds across here, which I think will be nice all the way across. And then we'll just kind of figure it out as we go. The saddest picnic table. It reminds me of if you get like a turkey at Thanksgiving and you like take all the meat off and all that's left is the sad carcass. <laughs> it's the carcass of the picnic table. All right, now we are going to reuse <laughs> some skids. This is quite the crafty project. Here's all the skids we've been saving for the past couple months, just for today. I 
I'm gonna do a quick coat of stain on these shelves. It's the same color as the greenhouse and what's on the vegetable garden, Brown Canyon or Canyon Brown by Olympic Stains. <laughs> Here we are. Doesn't that look so good when it's all staying the same color? This side, uh, we love it. So we are gonna do raised beds across the back here, but we were thinking how fun it would be to get an old sink and build a frame for it and put that in there with the drainage down into like a bucket or something. So every time we're watering plants that aren't stationary, you can water them in the old sink. I've seen a couple people on Pinterest who did that and it was just so cute. So we're gonna go out and see if we can thrift a sink. Okay, I guess this is the sink selection. I think it's the metal one. What did you think? Hmm, I don't know. Okay, maybe we'll just keep looking. Yeah, cause I don't wanna just settle for like... Yeah, these things suck. I... Hello. We're back again to work on our greenhouse. I haven't given an update in a couple days, so it's a few days later. We are at the hub. Habitat for Humanity Restore. We're still on the hunt for a sink. So that's what we're gonna go do right now. Oh yeah. It's kind of fun. This one's 40. Or this one here. Mm, that one's $40. Like even this is kind of fine. Mm. But it's not as cute. Like... I think that's cute. I like the sunflowers. Okay, we're leaving Habitat for Humanity now. <laughs> Um, we were looking at the sinks and had an idea that all we really need is a bowl, uh, like a ceramic or a porcelain bowl. We just need a bowl and then we can just drill a hole in the bottom and then fasten it directly to like plywood or whatever we're using as a counter inside of it. Duh. Duh. Anyways, now we're on to VV Boutique. Oh my gosh. Look at the flamingos. What are they? Watering cans? Oh my god, they're watering cans. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. And it matches perfect with the yeah. stain. And then the color is red. Okay, let's do that one. Sure. Don't look at my zip. Do a grow light stand? We're in Home Depot now. Are we gonna put it on there? Right, we are home again, back in the greenhouse and ready to work. So we're going to be doing a raised bed across here. It's gonna to come to around this spot. We're gonna have two feet to put our brand new bowl sink. We're gonna drill a hole in the bottom of it to make it so that the water drains out of it into a watering can or whatever we wanna use. And then another raised bed on this side here. So you guys are gonna see that process now. So just like we reused our picnic table, we are digging into our pile of extra lumber. This is more of our cedar deck boards. What else we got here? Stuff from building the tree house. The old stairs, the old stairs that we took apart. The old uh, stairs. From every project. Anyways, that's what we're using. Here's raised bed number one. It is made out of the old cedar deck boards and the stair treads. I mean, it's not looking pretty, but we're gonna line it with landscape fabric because we are gonna be staining the outside of the wood and you don't want the stain to touch like food. It's not like food grade safe. No, it's just exterior stain. Yeah, so just to be on the safe side, we're gonna put some landscape fabric and now we are gonna build the second one.
Raised beds are built. Andrew just fastened them on an angle to the wall for corner support. The bottoms of them are cedar. This is actually pressure treated, um, but we're gonna be putting in fa landscape fabric to act as a liner because we're also gonna be staining the outside and you don't wanna be touching the soil to the stain. You know what I'm saying? So it's just gonna kinda act as a liner for it. And I don't know for sure what I wanna grow in this, if it's gonna be food, if it's gonna be flowers. I don't know, but that's the next step of this project. Okay, you're gonna see Andrew working because I don't feel good behind the camera. But I need to say it because people are really mean. It looks like you're building a toilet. <laughs> look at, does that not look like a toilet? So cute. So I got two diamond bits. Okay. This is the smallest I have. Yep. We'll see how it goes. Okay, we're gonna pour water in and hope for the best. Say a prayer. More? Yeah. Yes! Yes! That's where it works. the next day we just came from the greenhouse we picked up a couple plants because we're gonna be gardening um, putting in some new gardens maybe landscaping around the greenhouse but that'll be another video mm -hmm. but we're so excited to reveal the finished greenhouse take a look Anyways, that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Bye! Bye.